vault. Settle down, will you? You're the victor, after all. I could have escaped, but I decided to say hi to Teach. Nothing to worry about. Deirdre has fallen and the Alliance has collapsed. There's nothing I could do to turn things around at this point. You want me to drop my guard around someone who evaded detection by my soldiers? Impossible. Did you really risk coming here just to say hello? I did. But mostly, I wanted to say goodbye. I'm leaving Fodlin. Lend you my... <laughs> I knew I liked you, Teach. I dare say Fodlin would be a lot more peaceful without me around. Right, Your Majesty? It's as you say. So long as you remain here, the faction of the Alliance that is against the Empire will continue to support you. Too true. It's best if I leave this place altogether. I'll just have to find some other way to pay back my debt to you. All I ask is that you go easy on the Alliance. After all, no one there would dare defy you now. And please, treat my former classmates well. I've asked them to cooperate with you if I lost. Wait, did your scheming include a plan for if the Alliance lost? <laughs> uh, you think too highly of me. It just seems that way now. Outside of Deirdre, most of the Alliance is unscathed and ready to join your superior strength. In all honesty, I was hoping to become a supreme ruler and lead Fodlin to peace myself. But that won't be happening now. Claude. Good luck to you, Edelgard. We crushed him in battle, and yet... Uh, he really is difficult to understand. Lady Edelgard, Deirdre is now completely under our control. As planned, the Alliance's affairs will now be overseen by Count Burglis. My father is coming here? First west, then east. You sure keep him busy. Should the others return to the monastery and prepare to face the kingdom? Yes, thank you, Hubert. Thanks to all of your efforts, our battle with the Alliance has reached its conclusion. However, we still can't afford to be careless. We must now join the battle against the kingdom. With the strength of the Church on their side, they will prove to be a formidable enemy. More than ever, your support is invaluable. We'll need it in the days to come. But for now, let's enjoy our triumphant return. Let's get to it! I'm so happy that the end of the fighting is near. Too bad there's still more violence to come. The Kingdom and the Church of Saros are worthy for fighting. I will crush them into very small pieces. Crushing wouldn't yield a lot of pieces, but I guess it would get the job done. With the Professor, we can't lose. Probably. Oh no. Are we fighting Lady Rhea? But she's scary. And she'll be really angry. But no way she can stay in her spooky beast form all the time, right? If she could, she would have come and attacked the monastery as many times as she wanted. It may be wishful thinking. But perhaps it is a power that she can only access when the situation is dire. But whether she is the Archbishop or the Immaculate One, we cannot be stopped. Half remains, but half is finished. We are certainly moving forward. <laughs> no one can stop us from pushing forward. No one.